Disclaimer. Please forgive me now if there are any mispronunciations in this video. We live our lives short or long, always wondering what is to come after we pass. But some of us are not ready to let go and seek to find shelter in another's form to retell our tales. These people are the reincarnated, the reborn. This reborn story is about a young Burmese girl named Ma Tin On Mio, but I will be calling her Tin On for short. Tin On was born in 1953 and was the youngest of four daughters. This pregnancy was different though, as her mother Dai A Tin dreamt the same dream on three different occasions. The same stocky Japanese soldier followed her, saying he would come and stay with her and her husband. He was wearing short pants and no shirt. She recognized him as an army cook that had had exchange recipes with a few times before, but for some reason, she was afraid of him now and told him not to follow her. Tin Un was born with a brown thumb-sized birthmark right above her sex organ that was sore and she itched at. As she grew older, it would disappear altogether. Between the age of three and four, Tin Un began to show a phobia of airplanes, cowering and crying when one flew overhead. It was unexplained for she's never been on a plane in her life before. At times, she would also ask to go home, even though she was already at her house. She would speak in a foreign language that no one understood and had troubles learning and speaking Burmese normally until the age of five. She would come to hate the hot climate of Burma. She liked eating fish, especially half raw and she didn't care for the spicy Burmese food. Occasionally, she would voice a low opinion of other family members' competence in the kitchen, but was not allowed to cook herself. She would wear boy clothes, refusing to wear girl clothes to the point where she was dropped out of school at the age of 11 for not obeying the school rule to wear feminine attire. She also preferred to play with boys instead of other girls, and often it was sports. She had asked her parents to buy her toy guns, and she said she wanted to be a soldier when she grew up. After she was old enough to talk, she told her parents that she was a Japanese soldier from the northern part of Japan, who was stationed at No Hall during the war, where he was killed. At his time of death, he was wearing short pants and had taken off his shirt. Almost out of nowhere, a plane had shot him with a machine gun bullets. One of them struck his groin where her birthmark was. He died immediately. This also explains her fear of planes. When she cried about wanting to go home, she meant she wanted to return to Japan. This enthusiasm for Japan caused her family to nickname her Japangi, which can be loosely translated as Japanese guy. Later on, Tin Un brought up additional memories of the soldier. The soldier had five children, the eldest being a boy. He owned a small shop in Japan before joining the army, and that the plan that shot him had two tails, which could have been either American or British. As she grew older, she also expressed preference for marrying women finding it repulsive to be with a man. By the age of 19, Tin Un had forgotten the past life incidents that she once described, and she mostly lost her phobia of planes by her late teens. She gradually was less bothered by the heat and came to enjoy spicy Burmese food. She also lost the desire to move to Japan. However, her transgenderism remained and she continued to dress as a man, rejecting the female position in society. Do you think Tin Un was a reincarnation? Did you enjoy this video? Would you like early access to my videos and support me? Check out my Patreon page where I create videos on cryptids, hauntings, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more. If you can't support me there, like, comment, and subscribe here. Hope you all have a good day.